the Senate Conservative Fund and the Heritage Foundation profit from attacking Republicans. Brian Walsh at News.com U.S. News and World Report Store Twitter Facebook Google Plus Sections Home News and Opinion Health Money Education Cars Travel Law Special Reports STEM Jobs in 2020 How to Live to 100 Cybersecurity Hospital of Tomorrow Rankings News Opinion News Opinion Debate Club TJ's Politics Blog World Report Economic Intelligence Robert Schlesinger Mort Zuckerman Science Cartoons Photos Videos Home Greater Than Opinion Greater Than Brian Walsh Greater Than The Senate Conservative Fund and the Heritage Foundation Profit From Attacking Republicans Brian Walsh Conservatives Eat Their Own For Profit By Brian Walsh September 12, 2013 RSS Feed Print Comment Tweet Republican Representative Pete Sessions of Texas As Chairman of the National Republican Congressional Committee in 2010, Representative Pete Sessions, R. Texas, led what has been cited as the GOP's greatest expansion in the House since the Eisenhower administration. For more than two years, Sessions spent countless hours recruiting strong candidates and raising tens of millions of dollars that were pumped into Republican campaigns around the country. On November 2, 2010, House Republicans won a net gain of 63 seats and Nancy Pelosi's days as Speaker of the House were over. And as a congressman representing the 32nd Congressional District of Texas for the last 16 years, Sessions has also been a staunch conservative. Among other distinctions, he's received an A-plus rating from the National Rifle Association, the 100% rating from National Right to Life and a 97% lifetime rating from the American Conservative Union. His conservative credentials are second to none. Yet this week, the Senate Conservatives fund a super PAC run out of a Capitol Hill townhouse by operatives of former U.S. Senator Jim Beamond called Sessions a Texas R.I.N.O. That's a Republican in name only for those unfamiliar with the term and threatened to actively recruit and fund a primary challenger against him next year. See a collection of political cartoons on the Republican Party. In a widely distributed fundraising email that hearkened memories of General Custer exhorting his troops before the Battle of Little Bighorn, SCF Executive Director Matt Hoskins went so far as to write, We can't sit back and let wishy-washy Republicans like Pete Sessions destroy our freedoms. The career-threatening offense committed by this lifelong conservative leader. As chairman of the House Rules Committee, Sessions does not appear willing to help march Republicans off a political cliff and risk the House majority by shutting down the government cutting off checks to military families and seniors and putting that great risk the recent spending cuts achieved through sequestration over a fantastical fight to defund Obamacare. Never mind, of course, that in 2011 even the Heritage Foundation, which today has joined with SCF to attack Republicans over Obamacare, called it a dirty little secret that Obamacare can't truly be defunded. Never mind, of course, that as a senator himself in 2011, now president of the Heritage Foundation Jim Beamond voted for a continuing resolution to keep the government, and hence, Obamacare, funded, which he and his allies equate today with supporting the law. See a collection of political cartoons on Obamacare. Never mind that even staunchly conservative senators like Tom Coburn have correctly observed that Republicans, after failing to win control of the White House and Senate in 2012, flat out do not have the votes currently to cut off Obamacare funding and, more importantly, to repeal and replace this terrible law. Never mind that after funding disastrous Senate candidates like Christine O'Donnell in Delaware, the Senate Conservatives Fund played a key role in the Republicans' failure to win that Senate majority. None of that matters this is about political cash, not political principle. In fact, the Senate Conservatives Fund and Heritage Action, the political arm of the once well-respected Heritage Foundation, have spent more money so far on attack ads this year against House and Senate Republicans than the Democratic Senatorial Campaign Committee, Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee and Democratic National Committee, combined. All the while, virtually every Senate Democrat for re-election in 2014 all of whom were the deciding vote on Obamacare has been given the free pass by these groups. See a collection of political cartoons on Congress? You see, money begets TV ads which begets even more money for these groups' personal coffers.